children in Colorado live in poverty. 16 million children in America, one in five, is growing up in poverty. Kids can't vote. If we cut programs that serve them best, there's no public outcry. 
They don't have a voice in this election. Certainly not in a nation with super PACs. We tried something different to get kids into this political conversation. We need the moderator of next week's debate here in Denver to make sure that we talk poverty. Yeah. Ask the candidates, how are they going to reduce child poverty in the first hundred days in office? Thank you. Poverty in America undermines our economic strength, hinders our ability to compete, erodes our communities, and limits children's opportunities for success. Poverty in America, we need to make the economy work for everybody. We must set a national goal to reduce poverty in half in 10 years. Doing so is not only an economic imperative, but also a moral, moral one. Presidents in history have done great things for children. FDR ended child labor. Truman created the school lunch program. Lyndon Johnson created Head Start, a program that provides preschool learning, medical and dental care, and mental health services for low-income children and their families. Nixon created WIC, a program that prevents malnutrition in infants. President Clinton helped states cover uninsured children when their parents' incomes were too, low to, too high to qualify for Medicaid. Even George W. Bush created a program to mentor children whose parents were incarcerated. Presidents have stepped up for children in the past when America has asked them to. Last year, Congress and the White House struggled to, come, struggled to come to an agreement over how best to balance our budget and reduce our deficit. As a result, $1.2 trillion will be cut from defense and non-defense programs equally and harshly. The, de the Department of Education cuts will total more than $4 billion. Grants to high poverty school districts will total nearly $1 billion. WIC, Head Start, the Social Services Block Grant, all programs that serve the 16 million children in America living in poverty, they'll be cut drastically. We have to start asking the candidates the tough questions and demanding specific answers. We have got to ask the moderator of the debate in Denver here next week to talk poverty. Do the candidates want to invest in children? Join us in asking our presidential candidates to step up for kids. Talk poverty during these presidential debates because we're going to vote for kids like a child's life depends on it. Thank you so much for coming today.